little bit about your idea. So the idea is about donate food for people who need. So what did we think? There are many events like parties or things like that that there are so many people who goes there like a, a small party has 500 people so it's cho so much people and we think that if every single people brings like one kilo of some food like rice or something like that uh, they can to pay less money like uh, if to they don't bring the uh, to enter in the party because uh, if the people don't bring food, they will pay the double of the ticket. So they must pay food and it's so cheap, like in Brazil it's five reais in the door of the party. So in, if you buy in the market, it will be cheaper than five reais. Yeah, the main idea is to get unusual ways to get food and distribute to people who doesn't have that access to food, which is a preliminary thing. And every single person imagine if a small party with 500 people 500 kilos of food they could uh, with all those food they could call call some charity institution close there and donate this food that a simple act then could help so many people will be a big impact in the city and another good thing it's because government like this this kind of thing. So if the the they company, totally support. Uh, they they com support. the company who is making the party go to the government and say this, the government could like down some taxes and comp and the other side the company uh, do this and down the prices or do this thing. It can impact so many people with a single a single act that every person who is going to the party bring that. You food. know, you know already someone. What? Who, you were telling yeah, me about in Brasilia, the... in Brasilia, there's a company called R2 Production. It's the, the biggest one of here, and they already do this. And what they do in in the in the in the door of the party, there are many ambulances uh, sorting be, uh, beer and another ambulance sorting this food, and that's its five reais. There's a really potential idea, and yet if everyone do this could be end the hungry in the world. But you were telling me that you know someone who's running a charity already? Yeah. With the poker party. Yeah. yeah. There, in Brazil too, there's a poker house, a place where people go to play poker. And every Sunday, like in a year, all, every single Sunday, there is a tournament where when you, when you go to play, you need to donate a little of a liter mm -hmm. of a milk. And then he distributes to all charities, and and he helps like is about like he donates a hundred liters of milk every week for institutions. Another another thing is, in my company when I was trainee, my group had a project that we we made an event, and we thought. Uh, the, end, the, the price to enter was free, but we didn't let free, we say, you have to bring one kilogram of food. And in a small event, we, we made a lot of food and we called uh, a charity institution and they love it. So you don't have many work because if you tell the institution that you have the food, they will go to you to pick this food. You don't, we don't have so many work with transport. So. It is good for the church institution and it's good for the event because the party who made this, uh, that's a great marketing that you can do on this because every company wants to be their name with a charity action. So it's a good idea and it's good from all those sides, all those parts, all those, all those stakeholders. Thanks. And maybe at the end you can tell who you are, what you are studying, where you are from. Uh, yeah, I'm Matheus Gouveia, I'm from Brazil and I'm studying industrial engineer in the Brasilia University. My name is Leonardo Nassif, I'm also from Brazil and I'm doing industrial engineering too. Thanks.